Well, here are the brass blades that we cut for our squares. They're the right shape, but as you can see, they're a little rough on the outside. A little grimy looking, got some oxidation. What we want to go is from here to here. Something shiny, something will make a pretty tool. So how do we do that? Well, we've got a couple of different choices, depending on what finish, what look you want. The first one I want to talk about is to use abrasives. What you see here is a fence, a flat board, and a piece of PSA sandpaper. You can start at any grit. What we want to make sure is that the striations that the grit leaves are all uniform and in line. And that will make for professional looking work. And that's why we have the fence. Back and forth, holding things in line, and little by little we'll start to remove some of the oxidized area and reveal nice clean brass. And as you can see here, I've got a little ways to go because I'm hitting the outside first. So there may be a slight bow to this brass. I can flatten that out. I'm going to keep on doing it just a little bit more here. Now you can stop at any point with a grit or you can continue down to a very fine grit. I have 220 paper on this board now. I could keep going to 1200 and it would start to approach a nice polish. So that's a nice easy way, low tech, to create a nice finish and it really doesn't take much in the way of materials or supplies. If you'd like to go for a nice polished look, well then we need to talk about another method. And that is using buffing wheels. There are three kinds of buffing wheels. Soft, medium density, and a hard density. The soft wheels have the advantage that they'll reach into complex textures. A hard wheel on the other end of the spectrum can really cut into tight areas and leave a very clean line. So it really depends what you need to do. I like to use a medium density. It's a good all-around wheel. And so that's what I've been using for our blade squares. Buffing wheels, of course, require a compound. This is red tripoli, which is a good all-around compound for polishing brass. Another good tool for dealing with metalwork are these 3M pads, and they come in different abrasive qualities. There's a fine, medium, and an ultra-fine. And these are really handy because you can do handwork with them. And so if you have some scratches or a blemish that you'd really like to work out before you use the buffing wheels, it's a great way to go. Low tech, but it provides nice, good results. And of course, like the sandpaper, we want to always make sure that our striations are even and consistent and make your work look a lot better. The last way that's the easiest way, and I really like it, because it just yields great results, is to use a vibratory tumbler. Now, a vibratory tumbler is a common machine for finishing metal parts, be it steel, brass, or aluminum. This particular machine, as I said, is a vibratory tumbler. There are models which are actually rotary tumblers, so think of those rock polishing kits that kids like to use. The same principle works the same. Now, when we load our parts into a vibratory tumbler, we need to choose what kind of media goes in with it. And there are three kinds of media. This is ceramic, and it comes in a variety of different shapes. The best shape is the one that doesn't get lodged into tiny areas of your work. You want something that'll get, reach into everything, but not get lodged. And it's the most abrasive of the three. What you see here, is plastic. So plastic will provide a pretty good polish to brass or to aluminum and it's a little easier on the material. Our final media is a treated walnut shell and that provides the highest gloss for any metal that you're polishing. Now the length of time that it takes can be anywhere from 2 hours to 12 hours for each one of these. It really depends on your product and on your material. When we're using the ceramic or the plastic, it's necessary to add a little bit of water and a little bit of a polishing compound. This is more or less dish soap, but it has some good properties which keep the surface from oxidizing. So you add just enough to lubricate everything, but it, you don't want it to wash in the, in the liquid. 
So a vibratory tumbler, it's a great thing if you get into metalwork, you'll find it really creates great parts for you, save you a lot of time.